A while back, when the Baltimore riots were going on, I did a classic video called Negro Children of the Corn. And in that video, I pretty much laid the foundation for the argument about these dysfunctional Negro children who grew up in these single mother households with no parents giving them guidance, no discipline, and no set of core values. And because these children literally grew up like stalks, they are just like the characters in the Stephen King horror movie, Children of the Corn. And when I look at these Negro children of the corn, I see a clear textbook case in Chicago a couple of days ago. Now, a couple of days ago, a mentally handicapped young man was tortured by four of these Negro children of the corn. And when you listen to the details regarding this case, you will see that this is a clear case of these Negro children of the corn savages in action. Now, this mentally handicapped young white male, he was befriended by one of these Afro-American savages, because I can't call him a Negro. He's, he's so reprehensible. All I can call him is a savage, because he decides he's going to befriend this white male who has been mentally handicapped, and he decides he's going to spend the night at this guy's house. He pretty much convinces this young man that he can be trusted, and they decide to set up a time to spend time at this Negro male's house. Now, the father drops the mentally handicapped male off at a McDonald's to meet with this Negro, and the, Negro, and the white male thinks that he's going to be okay with this Negro. He thinks he can trust this Negro, not knowing that he's a savage. And what these Negroes do after they meet up with this mentally handicapped white boy is they grab him, take him in a car, then they decide to torture him for two days, and because these savages are so stupid, they decide they're going to take this torment on Facebook and put it up on Facebook Live to be presented to the world, pretty much showing everyone how dumb these savages truly are and how dysfunctional these savages truly are. Because to torture this boy and to post it on social media, again, is a testament to how dysfunctional these Negro males are and this, these two Negro females are and how they have no set of core values, no set of moral compass, and no sense of integrity whatsoever regarding them. Because to torture a mentally handicapped male of any race is just reprehensible and egregious. And the way they went about to bring to bring this boy in, again, shows malice of forethought to take this young male, befriend him, and make him think that you're going to be his friend and you're going to be able to spend some time at his house and form a connection with him, but then take him someplace to torture him. That's just evil when you think about it. And it shows, again, how little of a moral compass these children have and how they have not been raised with any set of core values because you have to look at these behaviors you have to look at the root of these behaviors because when it comes down to these negro children of the corn the reason why they are dysfunctional like they are is because this black female single mother pretty much did not raise this child she did not teach this child any sort of moral values she did not teach this child any sort of moral compass she did not teach this child any sort of discipline, any sort of integrity, any sort of morals, and this is why this child of the corn is the savage that they are right now, because this single mother who said she could raise a boy or a girl to be a man or a woman on her own, her strong, independent black woman, said she could do this, and we look at the fruit of her labors, because as the Bible says, ye shall know them by their fruit, and we can look at the fruit of these four savages and clearly see the job that wasn't done by these single mothers when it comes down to these four savages who tortured this mentally handicapped white male. And we and I look I listened to the things that they were saying in those videos, and it was just disturbing. Here are these four Negro savages who clearly show me that they have no education whatsoever because they're gonna take this mentally handicapped white boy and they're gonna slap him up, beat him up, torture him, and talking about bleep Donald Trump. And I'm sitting there going, you just don't understand your history because clearly you have not gone to school or clearly due to this white liberal Lucy Calkins education system, you haven't been taught your history because for you to sit there and torture this guy talking about Donald Trump 
in this hot, heated political um, powder keg we've had going on over the last eight years of the Obama administration and then right into the Trump administration shows me how completely ignorant you truly are and how totally you have gotten absolutely no education in black history whatsoever because only a savage is going to go there and talk about bleep Donald Trump and slap up this mentally handicapped white male and sit there and think that this is perfectly fine not understanding the history of the of the United States of America as it relates to race relations and how incidents like this are used by white supremacists and white racists to fuel their fire and reinforce their arguments about the savage behavior of the Afro-American savage. That's what these guys do. They take this inf they take videos like this, they post them up on their white supremacist websites and they use them to reinforce their arguments and their points about the behaviors of black people. But these Afro-American savages, because clearly they have not been raised by a by their mother or their father, and they've grown up like stalks, pretty much watching and imbibing all of this dysfunctional media, do not understand that when you participate in behaviors like this, all it does is make a statement to those white supremacists that we are right about these Afro-American Negroes. We're right about the way they behave. Here they are, pretty much participating in the very same behaviors we said that they would participate in. Because this is what they believe we participate in. This is the behaviors they believe we participate in on the regular. Because they see the way you got you Negroes act in many of these videos out here, pretty much fighting in the streets, fighting in fast food restaurants, and fighting wherever you can go, having these back and forth videos where you're cooking and roasting each other, and again, adding fuel to their fire. And this incident, as I as I fear what may happen, may be the powder keg that really sets off a lot of these white supremacists in the exact same way a lot of those white supremacists were set off by incidents like the one in Rosewood and the one that led to the destruction of Black Wall Street. And again, it shows me how just deeply disconnected this generation of children are from their black history because if you understand your black history you would understand that you would not participate in an incident like this because it could set off a powder cake especially after the hot election we've had where Donald Trump was standing there with white supremacists and white nationalists and pretty much adding fuel to their fire and agitating them up as a voter base and now these guys have control of your government and for you to sit there and agitate these guys, you know, it, it's like you, you don't have any critical thinking skills. You don't understand anything. And the reason why you don't under, understand anything is due to that single mother and that white liberal and his dysfunctional education system, which has not taught you anything. And both of those people said they could, one, raise a boy to be a man or, or a girl to be a woman on their own. And two, the liberal said that his education system would produce functional individuals. We clearly see from this incident that hasn't happened in this case because we wouldn't have these four savages going out here to go torture a mentally handicapped male just because they wanted to do it. That's sociopathic behavior and that's really behavior that ha it shows us, you know, what happens when you do not raise children to become functional adults. This is just children of the corn all over again because this is this is what my family members have seen in the education system from the elementary era to the, to the up to the college level and we're seeing those fruits you know starting to grow and become a part of American society because this is what happens when you have kids who have been um, indoctrinized into this white feminist system believing that they're going to, where the black girls believe they're going to be these strong independent black females in this white liberal welfare state and this white liberal system and then they go out here and have children and then they raise these children believing that things like daycare and giving kids stuff is going to be a foundation for developing their core values. And because they do not have a set of core values established by their mother and their father, we wind up with this dysfunctional savage who has no, again, no moral compass, no discipline, no core moral values, and believes they can just do whatever they want to whoever they want. And instead of understanding we have to do unto others, as we would have done unto us. But we clearly see that, again, that wasn't taught in our education system or in these Negro churches because your Negro pastor 
has not taught core values either because we look at this from a panoramic perspective and it's clear to me none of these these four Negro savages were taught anything related to values or morals or anything by this black single mother, this white liberal education system, or this Negro pastor. All of them failed these children, and this is why we have these children of the corn literally growing up like stalks and then stalking it, what they thought was prey because these predators saw this mentally handicapped young male and said, here's a, pre here's a piece of prey we can take advantage of, here's somebody we can abuse, and they went out here and tortured this young man for two days, all because he was a white male and because he was weak. And it clearly shows me, you know, how cowardly these savages truly were. Because to take somebody with a mental disability and to prey on them like that, that is reprehensible and egregious. Because this young man was literally, he has, he has as I've seen, because I have family members with um, uh, mental disability, they don't know where they are. They don't really know too much. And for these predators to take advantage of him, that was reprehensible and egregious. And you cannot excuse that type of behavior because that type of behavior, you know, is just completely, it shows, again, malice of forethought to do this and then to post it online and to believe that people are going to think that this is entertainment. This is not entertainment. This shows us a complete breakdown of American society and a complete failure of Lyndon Johnson's Great Society programs because this right here shows us the what happens when we reap this bitter harvest. We put these seeds in the ground. The white feminist, the white liberal, and the black female put these seeds in the ground and they've grown up to become these Negro children of the corn, savages literally stalking all of American society and a danger and a threat not only to others but to themselves as well and the, the black communities that they live in because they don't understand that their actions lead to equal and opposite reactions not just from white society but from society overall because their type of behaviors reinforce all the points that white supremacists, white racists, and racists all over the world say about black people and how they behave. These people, the way they have been raised, pretty much are breathing new life into these old racist stereotypes and providing concrete evidence of what people believe black people behave like. And what's really sad is no one is really taking a look at this from that panoramic perspective and seeing what this incident really shows us. This incident, again, shows us a complete breakdown of the moral society of black America, a complete breakdown of the black family in America, and a complete breakdown of the black community in America and pretty much shows us another example of the bitter harvest reaped from 40 years ago and the policies of white liberals, the policies of white feminists, and the black women who colluded with them to create the welfare state, which has created a group of savages which are now becoming predators who are looking for prey across America. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.